Hi everybody, Assalamualaikum So today we proceed topic 2 Interval estimation of two population means But this one we focus on independent variable First let's recall back Previous lesson Confidence interval for one population mean So this one based on sigma value If sigma is known Therefore, we will use this formula. Sigma, standard deviation of population. But, if sigma is unknown, we will use either this formula or this one based on sample size. And at least 30, we will use Z distribution or if and less than 30, we will use T distribution. Okay, next, look at here. So, this one, point estimator denoted by X bar. And then, standard error of the estimator based on sigma over square root N. And then, you must know what is the margin of error. So, margin of error this one okay so this one interval estimation of one population mean now we will focus on interval estimation of two population mean so let's say when independent random samples of n1 and n2 observations have been selected from two populations with Difference mean. So let's say mu1 and mu2 and the variances. So here is sigma1 squared and sigma2 squared. The sampling distribution of the difference denoted by x bar 1 minus x bar 2. So this one, the properties. So first properties here is the mean of x bar 1 minus x bar 2 equal to mu 1 minus mu 2. Second properties here is the standard error. So the standard error denoted by SE. So SE here for large sample is same for this two formula. And then third properties. If the sample population are normally distributed, then the sampling distribution of x bar 1 minus x bar 2 is exactly normally distributed. And last properties here is if the sample population are not normally distributed, then the sampling distribution of x bar 1 minus x bar 2 is approximately normally distributed when the sample size n1 and n2 at least 30. So this one based on central limit theorem. Let's look at first case of interval estimation for two population means. First conditions, populations are normally distributed. Second conditions here is equal variances. And then the variance for each population are known. Means that the variance from the population. Third condition, samples are independent. Therefore, we will use this formula to calculate the interval estimation of two population means. We will use sub table and then this one, sigma, means that from the population. Look at this example. In order to study the yield of variety A of paddy compared to variety B, Six plots are used receiving the variety A and 10 plots receiving the variety B. The yields are as follows. So this one, the data for each variety A and B. 
Suppose the population varies for the variety A and B are 0.25 and 0.2 respectively. Find a 99% confidence interval for the difference between the mean yield of the two varieties. So look at here. Population variances. Population variances. Variety A 0.25 and then variety B 0.2 shows that the value of the variance are from the population denoted by sigma squared. But the sample mean you have to calculate. Then construct the table. List the sample size, sample mean, and also the population variance. Then what is the alpha value? 0 0.01. Therefore, alpha over 2 equal to 0 0.005. Substitute or plug in all the values. Find the Z value here when alpha over 2 equal to 0 0.005. So equal to 2.5758. Therefore, a 99% confidence interval for the difference between the mean yield of the two varieties in between negative 0 0.31 and 0 0.97 so this one an example to show the first case equal variances and then the population variance for each population are known second example to show the second case look at the conditions first condition Populations are normally distributed. Second condition, unequal variances for each population. And then, the variance for each population are unknown. Third condition, samples are independent. Therefore, we will use this formula to calculate the interval estimation of population means so this one we will use t table and then the degree of freedom either one you can use this formula or based on estimated degree of freedom so same example as previous but here the Standard deviation or the variance for each variety is unknown. Means that you have to calculate the sample standard deviation or the sample variance on your own. Okay, then construct the table. Substitute the sample size, sample mean and also the Sample standard deviation for each variety. Okay, then what is the alpha value? So based on this one, 99%. Therefore, alpha equal to 0 0.01. And then alpha divided by 2 equal to 0 0.005. Substitute all the values. And then, from the T table, find T when alpha divided by 2 equal to 0 0.005. And then, the degree of freedom equal to 9. So, 9 here, based on estimated degree of freedom. Which one larger? 6 minus 1 or 10 minus 1? So, of course, 10 minus 1. Therefore, here is 9. So, 
sorry, the table, the table equal to 3.250. Therefore, a 99% confidence interval for the difference between the mean yield of the two varieties in between negative 0 0.084 and 0 0.744. So this one, an example to show the second case. Remember this one here. Unequal variances and also the variance for each population are unknown. Okay, so next let's look at the unbiased pool estimates. So what is unbiased pool estimates? So first, pool estimate for mean is an estimation of value that obtained by combining information from two or more independent samples taken from populations believed to have the same mean. So this one, the formula on how to calculate the unbiased pool estimate for mean. Meanwhile, the pool estimate for a variance is a method to estimate variance given several different samples taken in different ways. So remember that the mean may vary between samples but the true variance is assumed to remain the same. So this one, how to calculate the unbiased pool estimates for variance. So how to calculate the unbiased pool estimate for mean and variance? Let's look at this example. A sports scientist is studying the impact experienced by tennis players when performing backhand hit. The table below shows the result obtained. So this one based on two types of players, advanced and intermediate. Assume that the forces for both players are normally distributed with equal variances. Calculate the unbiased pool estimates of the mean and variance for the force experienced by both types of players. So here you need to calculate the unbiased pool estimates of the mean and variance. So how to calculate? Recall back sample mean and then this one sample variance. Calculate for advanced players mean equal to 39.92. Meanwhile, intermediate players sample mean equal to 21.14. So this one variance for advanced players equal to 118. 0.6449 and 69.0209 the variance value for intermediate players. Next step, calculate the unbiased pool estimate for mean. So substitute all the values into the formula at the end, the final answer of the unbiased pool estimates for mean equal to 29.1886. Next, calculate the unbiased pool estimate for variance using the formula. So this one, the final answer for unbiased pool estimate for variance. Okay guys, so now we proceed to case number 3. Look at the conditions. First condition, populations are normally distributed. Second condition here is equal variances. But the variance for each population are unknown. 
So here, unknown means that the variance or the standard deviation calculated based on sample. Based on sample, not from the population. And then third condition is samples are independent. Therefore, we will use this formula. Third case. So look at here. T and then S po. So look at this example. Two types of wood are selected and the resin content is compact. From a sample of 20 pieces of type A wood, the mean resin content is 28.6 mg with standard deviation 5.1 mg. The mean and standard deviation of resin content from a random sample of 22 pieces of type B wood are 30.8 mg and 6.5 512 milligram. Assume that the pieces of wood are of the same size and the resin contents for both wood types are normally distributed with equal variances. Find a 90% confidence interval for the true difference in population means of freezing content of the type A and type B wood. So this one an example for third case. Populations normally distributed. Equal variances. And then the variance for each type of wood are unknown. So here the value of the standard deviation. So this one, standard deviation of type A wood equal to 5.1. Meanwhile, type B wood equal to 6.512. So this one calculated based on sample. So remember that based on sample. That's why... Here, sigma 1 squared and sigma 2 squared are unknown. So, 5.1 and 6.512 calculated based on sample denoted by S, not sigma. First, construct the table. List all the information given. The sample size, the sample mean, and also sample standard deviation for type A and type B. What is the alpha value? So, based on here, 90%. Therefore, alpha equal to 0.1. And then alpha divided by 2 equal to 0 0.05. Next step, calculate as pole. Substitute. And then as pole equal to 5.889. Therefore, 90% confidence interval. Substitute. Sample mean of type A and type B. And then T 0 0.05 degree of freedom equal to 40. So this one, as pole estimates value. Substitute sample size 20 and 22. Then here. A 90% confidence interval for the true difference in population means of recent content of the type A and type B woods in between negative 5.26 and 0 0.86. So this one, an example 
to show. Case number 3. Alright guys, that's all about the interval estimation of two population means. Assalamualaikum.